virtue signaling, right? I have a bit of an issue with um, the phrase virtue signaling because it's almost like uh, saying I am behaving in a way uh, and speaking in a way that um, I don't really believe in. It's just an act to make the world think I'm a certain type of person, virtue signaling. And that, you know, whenever we uh, behave in a moral way or stand up for what we believe to be true, we're virtual signaling and that we're not being authentic. We're actually doing it because we want people to think we're kind or that we're somehow um, virtuous or better or something like that. And that all of this has an agenda. But my kind of position on this is that, um, and I'm probably virtue signaling right now, but whenever we go out into the world, whenever we put ourselves out into the world, whenever we share ideas, we're, we're selling something. We're selling an idea of who we are. And, OK, there are some times where we want to come across as the big, clever, you know, the guy. We're, we're kind of, you know, we're, we're pretending to be someone we're not. But I think it's I think it's very artificial when we start doing that. And if we practice and cultivate a sense of self-awareness, then our message becomes much more authentic. And I think that it it kind of gets interwoven into the message, this authenticity. So when we're saying, when, you know, when we're just parroting the latest phrase that we've heard and we're talking, you know, you hear all the times politicians do it, they come up with the same phrases, you know, we stand shoulder to shoulder with someone or um, make no mistake. You know, the, the kind of language gets bandied about because it isn't really felt. It just becomes a cliche. But when we start to develop a sense of self-awareness and we actually talk from a position of kind of our own truth in a way, it's authentic and we're no longer virtual signaling. We're just kind of saying, here I am. This is who I am. This is what I believe in. And it's not about if I say this, then people will think this of me. It's about saying, here I am. Think whatever you want of me. I don't really care because this is this message is more important than what you think of me. So you know, we are all selling all of the time in one way or another. Whenever we communicate something out into the world, we are selling uh, an idea of ourselves. And it's only authentic if that idea of ourselves comes from a, pl a place of, I am selling who I am. I am communicating who I am, what I believe, what I think in. And we let go of the idea that I want you to think of me a certain way. You know, I am disconnected from what you think of me. You can think whatever you want of me. I don't need you. I don't need that validation that you th somehow think I'm a good person or that I'm moral or I'm, I'm ethic or I'm standing up for the old boys or a better way of life or something like that. I don't need you to think. You can think whatever you like. You can like me. You can dislike me. But here is my message, and this is important to me. So it's not about how it's received. It's about how it's broadcast. And... This is where authenticity comes from. So if you are saying something, you know, like how big corporations jump on a bandwagon because, you know, they get behind pride or they get behind Black Lives Matter or something like that. And it's like, well, you're, you're a big corporation. It's very hard for us to trust anything you say because you don't have a soul. You don't have a, um, a, a, a persona. You're, you're just a big corporation. It's that same kind of thing. If you are trying to, you know, do things for clicks or you're you're kind of being controversial for the sake of being controversial it's not authentic if you are getting behind a cause because you think it's popular to get behind that cause it's not authentic but when it comes from you and you don't really give a shit how people receive it then it's not virtue signaling it's just you being you isn't it so virtual signaling i think is an awful phrase and i think um, the kind of people who use that phrase are generally people who are not very virtuous. You know, it's like it's like saying, oh, it's, it's just wokeism gone mad. Well, that comes from people who aren't woke and are clinging on to, a, you know, an outdated way of seeing the world. But virtue signaling, I, I get the premise of it, but it's not. Um, I, I think it's a horrible term. I think it's I don't think it, I, I don't like to have conversations with people who use phrases like virtue signaling to disparage others but i think if you i think it means that your your message is not authentic and it's not aligned with who you are and i think if you what you're trying to say is aligned with who you are and you're not trying to sell an image of yourself you're just trying to kind of sell 
what you believe in, what you really believe in, then it's not um, virtual signaling. Okay, I, I, I don't know if any of that makes sense, but it's just about authenticity is not how other people perceive you, it's how you communicate. You know, it's, it's not how the world receives you, it's about how you go out into the world, you know what I mean? Does that, does that make sense? I hope so. All right, cheers.